Hello everyone, hello, it's Peter here, Piot Listener. How are you doing guys? So what it is is that we've got a TV. Well actually we've got one two TVs from Edinburgh, one from no, two TVs from Livingston and one TV from Edinburgh which I need to look into today, but probably I will look only for the one from Livingston and one from Edinburgh because those two are from one customer. So if I can look at least for the one from the Livingston, I can do other jobs and then go back to this, yes? So yeah, this is logic and I've been told that it has no power. Let us verify. Because we don't trust customers. Sometimes as, as simple as restart. Okay, I've seen blink, blink, uh, blue LED. Is there a power button on this? No. Yeah, it's just blinking blue LED. That's it. Nothing else. And it's random, or it's at least five to ten seconds if you wanna look at this section here. So I can. Oh yeah, it was. So I can say that yes, there is no power, but the question is why there is no power. Is it is it because the power supply is faulty or is it because the backlight is faulty? Or the section of the backlight in the power supply. So I'll pause, I'll unscrew, I'll come back to you once it's done. To save your time and you can hit the like button if you don't mind thank you and see you soon okay guys so what i found out is that this is a laptop type of a display it's not a regular display with regular backlight and so yes and so um we need to check if the display didn't lose the backlight and that's causing the short because i've checked and on this capacitor we've got a proper voltage and then the power is going up the way so it could be shorting of the uh, of the display but on the other side when i've disconnected an lvds signal you know to the to the display it stopped blinking the blue light so i took my time i found in my adapters the same connector which is here which is free red on my right then there is a gap and there is a gap here it's the same length and then there are data lines with grounds here and that's data lines with the grounds here as well so that's the same type of connector the only problem is that i can't find a data sheet for this display and so i can't say for sure which voltage is running or which resolution it has so that's not ideal but it's not something what can be a problem so let's plug this in let's plug this one in let's plug in the power adapter okay and now we've got two choices one either use like lower power supply uh, or yes or just uh, well it's no additional cable as well so it's okay so in that case I can use only the this and in that case it's fine because these additional volts which I have here these diodes these are for those voltages at the top from what I understand and not for uh, anything else so in that case I can just use this one and that's that's fine uh, I will plug it in first. Okay. Wow, we want no space. Yeah. Yes, it's 3.3 volts by default, which is great. Okay, and 65. I will go for some low resolution. It's hun it's 1600 on 900. So no way. I need to go down. I'm God, this is giving awkward noises. Hopefully you won't die before the test. 
but any anyways um, I need to go for some lower light uh, okay so let's say oh three maybe that will be oh 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 three okay let's switch it off put not on yeah it's still the same power on power led okay so i hate this crackling noise which is there it's it's the noise is really not nice okay so i had it on the right hand side uh, Firm. Nope. You can hear the display, but you, you can't see even the backlight, and it's on the same side, it's exactly the same side. So I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with the uh, with the power supply and then and the main board for now. I would say that's the display issue, because if I'm testing the display, and I've got the same connector, yes, the same, uh, we get right on my right side, and I plugged it uh, red on the right side, and I'm switching it on. I've got a power, and I don't see any backlight. then that's mean that I, I can't do anything. I would have to either, uh, I would have to have at least the backlight. If I don't have at least the backlight, there is an issue with the backlight. So LEDs and the backlight are just probably dead uh, from what I see. And for me, further investigation would lead into a lot of time, yes? So I need to speak to the customer if customer wants, you know, uh, wants to spend more time on it but i can see that i've used the same connector same uh, alignment of the uh, pins on a pin out uh, i've used minimum 3.3 volts so i couldn't kill it you know i i would have to well i can risk 5 volts that's all i can do <laughs> but i don't know uh, now that's auto down so i can't even the voltage it's only here higher so if i want to have a higher voltage i would have to go here and there's no connector for that there's only a vds connector so in that case i can't test with a higher voltage even if i would want so i don't have specification of the display as well so i can't be 100 percent sure so i would have to open the display first then check those leds yes then see what voltage they can take and then test it if i see that there is a problem with a backlight now i've got an answer pretty much yes if i don't see a problem with a backlight then i can start to worry about the electronics uh, here but that's really time consuming so for me yes uh, i have to say to the customer that it's not worth chasing for me because i would have to charge per hour customer and I don't think it's worth for this customer to, to pay so much. Uh, so probably a no fix will be at the end. Or this customer likes to fix on his own. Then at least he knows now what to do and he can investigate. Because if customer has a time and he can open it himself and don't electrocute himself, of course, because we're talking high voltage, he has mains voltage here, then he, he get a chance of checking these diodes yes if he can check these diodes then we can uh, we can move on if the diodes don't have power you know what's the problem or if the diodes have a power but they are not lighting up you know what's the problem so yeah it's a no fix at least for now but at least customer know what's going on the only thing what i wanted to show you here which is irrelevant to be true but I don't know if you can see the rust, but it's a nice rust here on this either transistor or MOSFET or something, yes? It's a really nice rusty surface.
Oh, not nice. But you know what I mean. The opposite of the nice. Okay, I think that's it in this video. I know it's a short one, but at least you see uh, what you can test. If what I would do if I wouldn't have um, the tester, yes, and the same connector, I could check those red pins. Uh, on this cable if they get power if they get power to be true and I still have no light I could assume the same thing probably that its power comes in and it's not spread across at least you need to test it when you are switching it on because it can be the case that it's showing up for a split of a second the power on that connector and then it's going down again yes yeah? so yeah that's everything see you in the next video thank you for watching if you did like here's likes to you and see you in the next one bye bye